Oh man, the cable melted. Ah, oh, crap. What's up guys, my name is Andy, and on today's video, we're gonna replace the cable clutch because I didn't follow directions and it did exactly what they said it was gonna do. <laughs> so, on, I recently swapped in a T5 transmission in my car and I did new headers at the same time. Uh, for a couple of reasons, one, the headers that I, that I had on there were not ideal and I got a really good deal on a new set and tried to do it together and in the instructions of the cable clutch, they talk about the cable being too close to the headers and you have to be careful with the heat because of the plastic shield or jacket that's on the cable can melt and cause problems with your cable for, um, for your clutch. And when I was installing it, everything looked like I could maybe get it to work. I even put some of that header wrap stuff on there to reduce the temperatures in that area around the cable and it just didn't work. <laughs> The, uh, the, what the clutch feels like right now is if I had maybe a, a race clutch or something in the car, it is so hard to push the cable. And I think the best way to describe it is uh, because it's got that, that plastic jacket, uh, imagine melting the plastic and all of that's getting infused into the cable. And then that cable is now thicker inside the, the jacket and the cable is squished, it's flattened. And so I'm trying to pull that cable that through there, it's just, it's just, it's only a matter of time before it's probably just going to seize up and not work at all. So we need to get that out of there. Uh, what I ended up going with is a hydraulic clutch and I'm going to do the kind with the external slave cylinder that, that mounts to the side of the uh, bell housing. Uh, MDL, uh, Modern Driveline Technologies, or no, Modern Drive, MDL, <laughs> sells a, a hydraulic kit that allows me to, I'm gonna mount it on the firewall. It's got the, mass, the, 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 the clutch cylinder on the firewall and then down below the slave cylinder, we have to drill a couple holes into the bell housing but there's a bracket on there that mounts on the side and it'll still actuate the clutch the same way that the cable does. I don't have to take the transmission out. Uh, I'm not gonna do that cable or the uh, hydraulic sleeve that goes uh, where the throw out bearing is and everything. I'm not doing that option. Uh, this one we're just going to mount on the outside. So the nice thing is that I don't take the transmission back out. Um, so let's uh, let's get in there. And in fact, let's let's take a look at the parts first, and I'll show you what we're gonna, what we're going to be working with. All right, in this box, this is the uh, the hydraulic master cylinder and the setup for the 6566 coupe, which is what I have. So in here we've got the instructions on what we need to do, and these are pretty. Pretty detailed. There's quite a quite a bit going on in here, so we're gonna have to be careful that we follow this stuff pretty good, pretty close to get this installed. Um, and then what we let's pull this out here. So the first thing we've got is the master cylinder, and then we've got a spacer piece that is going to mount inside of the firewall. So imagine if the firewall was right here, then we're gonna have that. And then we're going to have this bracket that's going to bolt on here and through this this system we're going to bolt to the side of the clutch pedal. In fact, on my clutch pedal now I have the cable bracket bolted to the to the side of it and uh, we're going to use that same bolt hole and we'll put this hardware in there and this is going to actuate the master cylinder and then uh, it'll go down to the slave cylinder. This is the reservoir for that, and then this is we're going to be used for, for bleeding the system and, and getting all the air out. This is the slave cylinder kit that goes with it, and this is the one that we're going to use to, again, mount to the side of the bell housing so we don't have to take the clutch out and everything, the transmission out of the car. Again, detailed instructions, which is going to be great. Um, we have everything we need to know there. And the pieces... So here's the slave cylinder. So this is going to mount, if you're looking at the side of the train, if this was the bell housing here and the transmission that way, this is going to mount just like this. And then this bracket is going to mount uh, so just this way. It's going to sit inside of the bell housing on the inside, just like this. I'm sorry, just like that. 
this is going to mount there and then it'll actuate the clutch this way as if the cable was if this was the cable the cable was pulling it this way so the actuation will be in the same direction so we don't have to change anything there and then we'll just route this line from the slave cylinder up to the master cylinder that's pretty simple not not a whole lot uh, in terms of additional pieces however the instructions are pretty detailed so uh, let's uh, let's take a look at what we're gonna do so if you remember from the video when I was installing the transmission you know we put this new bracket in with for the new clutch cable setup and what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbolt the master cylinder and take this bracket off we don't need this bracket anymore um, but we are going to basically be drilling a hole down here and it's gonna sit it's supposed to sit they say an eighth of an inch below this plug that comes through the firewall here. So roughly in in this area is where this uh, master cylinder is going to sit for the clutch. And then we'll just route the, the hydraulic line right down and it's difficult to see. You can see that, that kind of a, this gold color down there in the bottom of the, of the clutch lever. So we don't have to go very far uh, straight down. but. Uh, the headers, and you're not gonna be able to tell it from up here, but those headers are definitely not working with my clutch setup. And under here, so this is the bracket that we were using for the new clutch cable setup. We're gonna pull this bracket off. Where this bolt is, we're gonna use that hole in the, in the clutch lever. And we're gonna go right in this area is where the, the, the bracket and the mechanism is gonna sit. So I've got this padding on the firewall. We're gonna have to cut through that and we've got some work ahead of us to kind of get everything set up. Um, we're going to do everything up top here first. And then when we get the master cylinder installed, then we'll go down below to the bell housing and start working on that end of it. Now that we got all that out of the way, you're supposed to put some masking tape on the firewall so that we can trace where this is gonna go. And you might have, to, my firewall is dirty and so the tape is not sticking very good. I tried to brush it off as best I can, so I'm gonna try to be quick about it so that the tape will stick for as long as I can get it to stick. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this bracket, there's a, there's a natural bend down here in the firewall, so this bracket has to be above that, but below this, plug in the firewall and we want to sit this thing about they say about an eighth of an inch below the plug and I know that's really hard to see in fact I'm gonna to have to add some more tape and uh, and probably move the camera out of the way so that I can trace this so let me do that first all right now that we got that traced out it's kind of hard to trace around all of it because you can't get to the back side but that's okay because we just need to make a place where we can put this. Now in the instructions they tell you to lay some tape down and trace out the uh, the spacer block on the, the piece of paper and, and then take, cut it out. And then we're gonna actually gonna stick it on here and use this as the template for where we're gonna drill the holes to mount this thing. So there, now, now we've got that thing stuck on there. We can drill the 21 64ths holes that go right here. And then we'll drill the big one to put the master cylinder uh, through. Okay, that was a lot of a lot of frustration. Okay, so I got the two holes drilled, and I thought I could go ahead and drill the center hole and at least get a pilot hole set started for the bigger one and three eighths hole that we have to drill here. But you can tell that I it's not centered. So um, I guess I just do with the follow the instructions again, 
and we'll put the spacer piece on here and we'll use the spacer as a guide of where that hole, the bigger hole needs to be. Uh, so the next part I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt that spacer up so we can drill that bigger hole. All right, now we got the this spacer bolted up so we can use it as a guide to drill the hole for the master cylinder uh, to go through the firewall. And what you have to do is you kind of need somebody else to help you. Um, so I had, I had my son hold this in place while I went on inside of the firewall and screwed the bolts in the back side of this. So now we need to drill the hole through here, uh, through the firewall for the master cylinder. And so because this is such a tight fit, you know, we, this is the drill bit we're going to use. We need a one and three eighths. But I, my drill is too big to fit in here, and this piece is going to sit in here like so, and I can't get the drill on the rest of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this 9 millimeter socket to hold this uh, in the drill, and we're just going to have to do it, uh, do it that way. So we'll use this thing and then see if we can drill the hole. All right, it worked. Uh, it took a little bit. That that drill is that ratchet is not designed for this, but we got her done. I know it's kind of hard to see, but we can get through there now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take that bracket back off and just kind of clean up the hole, make sure everything's good to go, and then I can reinstall it, and we'll put the uh, the bracket on the on the inside that goes with the clutch pedal. We'll get that installed next. All right, we got this piece in. That was a lot of work. This uh, this cutting this thing out. Um, wasn't too bad with that drill bit and doing that right angle ratchet thing, but really the hard part was getting these bolts in and bolting this thing down. So yeah, on this, I actually kind of put it a little too close to this wall here. So I had to grind the edge, you know, it would be this edge, but on the other side, I had to grind that flat a little bit so it sits up close. Let's go look on the inside. And then same thing with this bracket. This was a lot of, <laughs> to, to, you had to grind, again, I had to grind the edge of Oh, this is in the way grind this edge over here because of there was a, a natural bend in the firewall there that I had to Grind that that part that bracket to fit in there. It tells you in the instructions that you might have to do that So that's okay um, So we got this thing bolted in the next part is to we're gonna go ahead and install the master cylinder And we'll hook up the clevis to this to this arm here, and then we'll go from there and we'll bolt up the uh, the uh, the rest of this the system for the clutch. All right, the next step, we're gonna go ahead and we can put the master cylinder into the bracket now and get it all mounted up. And once we get done out here, then we'll go underneath the dash and finish it inside there. From here, it's going to be it's a, it's a little difficult to do this with the camera in place. So I'm just going to show you what we're going to do, and then I'll then I'll get it done. So now they got the clevis sticking through the firewall that's on the end of the master cylinder. We're going to push this lever up and uh, push it in place, and we have to add one more little washer in between the clevis and the bar here. And then we'll put the pin and the and the cotter pin thing, the clip on the end. And once that's ready, then we're ready to hook this part up and this hole right here on the side of the clutch. We're gonna bolt this whole system on to the, to the bar and the, the, the spacer is gonna stick out away from the bar and then the end of this uh, heim joint is gonna thread in to the end of that one there. And uh, then we can adjust everything, get everything in place. And we want the clutch pedal actually forward like this uh, all the way up to the up position. And so I gotta adjust all that and get everything in place. So. Unfortunately, I can't. It's hard to hold the camera, and there's not a lot of space down here to show. So I'm going to put it all in place, and then I'll turn the camera back on, and we can take a look at it. So now we got all this bolted up. We got the the cotter pin or the the pin in here with the C clip on the other side. There's a little there's a little washer that goes in this clevis that you have to you can't really see when you put it in, but you need to line it up with the pin, and once you get it in, you're good. And then we've got this heim these two heim joints set up. We've got the spacer, got this thing all bolted up to the clutch pedal, and so the clutch pedal is. The default location is already forward here. Once we put some some fluid in the system and pressurize, it'll be better. But uh, so now we got full actuation of the clutch, and it's doing its its job in there. So now we're good. Now we can go back out front and uh, let's mount that reservoir uh, for the master cylinder. 
All right, it says to mount the master, the, the cylinder anywhere above the master cylinder over here. And so what I'm finding is anything back there, it's still pretty tight. I don't want to mount it on the shock tower. I don't want to mount it on the firewall. Um, I, I, don't, I won't be able to get to it very easily. I was thinking about putting it over in the back of the firewall, but I don't want it behind the engine. So I'm going to put it right here. And this still gets it above the master cylinder. Not by much, but it's still above. So we'll go ahead and they say to just mark it with a Sharpie. I think we'll give it a little more space for that. Um, and uh, so just Sharpie there. Sharpie. There. Okay, so now we got two holes. And it's got provided uh, with, uh, we got to use a number seven uh, drill bit for these, um, but that's also 1364, so I'm gonna use that bit, and drill those out, uh, and then we can use the fasteners that are supplied for holding this in place. All right, now we can finish routing this line over here to the uh, master cylinder. And we just want to pull this red plug off of the off the barb fitting. And we're just going to put this on here and just push it all the way to the bottom. And there's no need for a clamping like that. And so now this line is it's not in the way of any moving parts. It's out of the way of the, of the master cylinder for the brake. So I can get to that and service that if I need to. So now from here, what we need to do is hook up the line from here down to the slave cylinder, but I'm gonna get the slave cylinder installed, um, get that part of the project going. Actually, we should probably put the line on here and feed it down there. Let's do that real quick. For now, we're gonna point this fitting, you know, towards the camera this way, and I'm just gonna tighten up the jam nut underneath it and uh, and get that ready for, uh, to put the, the, the braid of the line on here. All right, now that's tightened up. And we're gonna feed the line. Uh, for now, I'm gonna route it down underneath the steering column so that I can get it behind the header and go back. Now, you can't really see where this is going, but uh, just trust me for now, it's going back down behind the, behind the steering column and down to the, to the bell housing. And so we're just gonna feed this on here. The instructions didn't say anything about Teflon tape. And I don't believe you do that on, on these kind of fittings, but uh, so we're gonna not do that. And we just wanna tighten this up. And we'll we'll come back and make sure everything's nice and tight when we're done, but at least the uh, at least the brake line is routed down there for now, or the, the clutch line is routed down there. And we'll see how it comes out on the bottom. Uh, but uh, up here, to, to finish this out, we can go ahead and put the brake master cylinder back in and hook all that stuff back up, because we're done with what we need to do with respect to this system up here. Uh, after I put this back in the car, we can get underneath, we can jack the car up and get underneath and start working on the, uh, the bell housing attachment. All right, we got all this hooked back up. Uh, also, if you guys don't recall, remember, um, I was having a problem with the, the push rod for the brake master cylinder. I had to make it longer because I had that bracket that was in here and was pushing the master cylinder out and made that distance longer. So if you guys have anything like that, don't forget to readjust the brake pedal uh, push rod levels lever so you can be in the right distance with this also because we had this hole here from the clutch cable um, The this hydraulic system doesn't come with a plug for that So what I did is I just went to the store and just bought it's a it was a white plug, but it's I just spray painted it black and we're just gonna go ahead and put it in in there Just plug up that hole now. Um, now it looks like it's supposed to be there. So we're covered there all right, so from here we can jack the car up and uh, go underneath and start from there. So here's the clutch cable routing and uh, you can see that um, <laughs> this is not supposed to be wrapped around the header on the side like that. It needs to go straight into the bell housing and this may be a better angle here. So. 
this is where the cable is right here and it needs to come straight through here and when I was putting these headers on they were pushed over that way more towards the um, the oil pan and the the cable was straighter than it is now I thought maybe I could get away with it I can get it to work and then as I put the headers on and I noticed that it was pushing the cable out to the side I thought well maybe if I wrap these headers uh, that would help protect it a little more and I <laughs> it didn't work and it's hard to tell here and we'll put we'll take a look at the cable when I get it off here but it's flat right here the cable is it's been squished and so the combination of the heat and this extreme angle here is making this cable not happy in fact putting this clip on right here to hold the the cable in place was difficult because I, it was coming in at such a steep angle and this this cable wasn't happy so let's get this cable off uh, we'll start by uh, undoing these the nuts here and then we'll just take this clip out and pull the cable through and we'll take a look at it once we get it out of the car. All right, so here's the cable. You can see that, that you know, see how it's got this kind of bend to it. It shouldn't have that. And this jacket is, it's melted to the, to the clutch cable. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get that off. All right, so I had to cut it off. And here we can see the damage that we did to the cable. So the nice thing is, is uh, I thought that the cable uh, I didn't realize there was a metal sleeve inside here, so that's good, but this cable is still is I mean, I can't I can't move the cable freely through this sleeve like I used to when you when you first get this thing you can slide that cable like this in and out and Whatever damage I did to this thing. It's It's done. It's toast. So oh well, okay, so now we're gonna yeah, here's the <laughs> it melted right to the uh, to the the sleeve or the jacket of the cable so now we can move on towards the uh, putting in the slave cylinder okay the next step is we need to install this mounting bracket and it's actually going to get installed this way and this is how it's going to it's going to end up when we're done and then we're going to mount the slave cylinder on here and it's going to push against the clutch lever right there but to do that we have to hold this in a position with the mark where this thing centers this way and then we need to take it back here and we need to mark once we get in the right spot we need to mark with a sharpie where the drill holes need to go and then i need to drill those holes out and just trying to show this on the camera and hold things in place there's there's no room for the camera so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get this all marked up and drilled and then uh, we'll come back after i get that done and we'll make sure that everything mounts up right well we got it in there um <laughs> That was quite a bit of work, you guys. Uh, just heads up when you're doing those, be very careful that these bolt holes, that the holes that you drill are in line so your bracket isn't crooked. Also, if you look at, see how the bracket almost looks like it's, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's almost leaning away. That's because when I drilled the holes, I got the bracket too close to the bell housing, and so the the radius in the bottom of the bracket is riding right there in the corner. Um, this is not ideal, so you're gonna wanna watch out for that, but it will still work. It's just, uh, I should have put the holes, you know, just a fraction of an inch farther away, you know, out this direction so that uh, this bracket didn't ride so close. But we're in there, this thing's solid, we're, we're bolted down, everybody's happy. For the tool, um, you know, I had to use a, I had to use this trusty guy here and I put a, uh, a socket adjustment to a quarter inch bit and I used a unibit to get up inside here because of how tight everything is and it's just not, I mean, if this transmission was out of the car, obviously it'd be a lot easier, but that's what we had to do to get that those holes drilled and we're good. So now from here, we can bolt the master or the slave cylinder onto here and, and attach this. There's a little um, socket piece that sits inside here 
that the master cylinder is gonna um, point into and ride inside there. So let's get all that put together. All right, we got that, uh, this nut, <laughs> whatever that thing's called, that this sits inside. That's installed. We've got the slave cylinder bolted up, and then the, I need to go back and I need to tighten everything on this, on the, the clutch, uh, the hydraulic line, but uh, I can't do this one-handed. Anyways, this, this will line up just fine, and it'll be away from any heat source that goes up underneath, that goes up underneath the steering rack and up that way, so. Anyways, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten this fitting down and get this secured, and then I need to set the distance for this, and what you need to do is you need to open up the bleeder valve, which is right up on top here, and you thread this nut so that you can push the slave cylinder all the way to the bottom to inside the system and adjust it so that there's pressure on this throwout lever and then once you get that all set up then you can go through and do the proper you know fill it with fluid and, and do the, the the bleeding of the system and stuff which i'm not going to do here because that's going to take a while and but uh, other than that everything's bolted up everything's in place like i said i just got to finish locking this stuff down and then uh, bleed the system all right this is just a follow-up i got the whole system bled uh, there are no leaks in the lines. Uh, I was able to actuate the clutch. Everything's good here. Everybody's happy. Let's go look up top real quick. Same thing up here. This is good. There's no leaks coming off of this guy. Routed back and back there. And there's no leaks around those lines or fittings. Master cylinder for the brake system's all put back together. Everybody's happy. Okay, and everything's put back together in here. You have to disassemble this system while you're doing the, the brake bleeding. I don't know if it's because this pedal can put pressure on the, the master cylinder or what, but you have to disconnect this uh, while you're bleeding the system, which is fine. It's just a pain in the butt to get this screw back in there, but we got it in. So everything's good here. The pedal uh, pedal works there, comes back to the front. So everybody's happy. And uh, now we can go ahead and put the car down. works oh that's fantastic you know uh, the interesting thing about this the clutch pedal of that old cable was so this cable because of this melted part it was so hard to push this clutch pedal that uh, when I was getting everything dialed in on this it was so easy to push the pedal I thought maybe I'd done something wrong because uh, I had to struggle so much with this but um, anyways so that worked out pretty easy. You know, I should have done this to begin with. Partially, it would have saved me money. I mean, the the, the money to buy this whole setup um, was more than the, the clutch cable, but obviously I wouldn't have had to buy that clutch cable, and so that money could have gone towards this. And so in the end, it would have been cheaper just to do the, the, the hydraulic setup. Also, um, you know, when I got everything, when I was ordering everything for the T5 swap, I, I started off not uh, needing different headers or I was going to do different headers and then partially through getting all the parts and everything I found a good deal in the headers and I wanted to have them and so I got them and I think the headers that were on the car probably would have worked better with the clutch cable but it is what it is so the shifting on this uh, is the clutch pedal is really easy it it, um, it lets go not too far off the floor which is great so you don't have to bring the whole the pedal all the way back uh, when you go to push the clutch in and you just start to come off the floor is where it engages, which is perfect. I'm used to that with other cars. Um, and then, so some of the things with the install, you might want to be mindful of. In the video, you probably saw how close that master cylinder was to the side wall here on the fender. You have to be that close or really close to that because on the firewall inside the car, there's a natural bend for the steering column or something to go through. And so the bracket that goes on the inside of the car and you actually have to shave it down to make it fit right. And it even says in the instructions that you may have to grind the things down just to make them fit. So where you, where if you space the, this, the master cylinder on, the, on this side of the firewall too far over, uh, it causes problems with the bracket. So where I ended up putting it was, was great and it ends up working out. Um, and then the other thing is when you're doing that slave cylinder on the side of the, the bell housing, like I mentioned before, just be careful where you put those holes you got to make sure those lined up good so that that master cylinder is in line with the clutch lever and everything's good to go from there. But other than that, it'd be great to have the car back on the road. I'm excited to go driving some more and uh, that's, that's it. We're done. 
Guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it. It helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.